What's up guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be continuing on as part 2 for the family that I started yesterday. We're building a parametric facade element for Albar Towers parametric facade. This is an amazing facade that actually changes its shape according to sunlight so when the sun is shining it kind of closes up and extends all of these triangles and then then it cre creates shade and then when there is not enough sunlight it opens everything up so it kind of contracts these triangles and lets the sunlight in and we're creating the parametric family that will be this facade element but before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day okay so this is where we last left off so this is where we finished last time okay so now what you need to do we need to add some more reference lines so select this midpoint select this point over here and you go spline through points and it will give you a warning because you now have two two lines on top of each other this is the the one here and let's make it a reference line so this is the line we want to have and let's create a new one so let me just turn on this yeah so let me just select this point over here and this point over here and again go spline through points and make sure to check is reference so we get this line here as well okay and one more point and line so you just go here to points make sure that this draw on workplaces work plane draw on face sorry drawn face is selected and place it somewhere over here on this vertical line okay we're going to be creating a new point over here and again make sure that drawn face is selected and you go over here and you just hit the tab once so you make sure you're placing it on this smaller reference pla reference line and you place it somewhere over here let's say and you select this point you select this point and you go here spline through points then you go to is reference make sure to check that okay and now let's select this point over here and here it says normalized curve parameter and it's actually the the higher value it's clo closer to to one and let's change this to end so now it's closer to zero that's what you want to have you make sure you just have that measure from and so the normalized curve parameter if it's here this should be zero and this should be one so if it's here it's closer to to zero okay so you select this line and for the normalized curve parameter you just go here to parameter and you create a new parameter you just make sure that it's an instance parameter and you call it NCP so normalized oops normalized curve parameter and you just hit OK OK and we have that parameter and this if we go here to family types this will be the only parameter that we're going to be able to to change that's that's the important part okay so we need to create some more parameters right now so I'm just going to go here to new parameter this one I'll call LH so just type in L H, make sure that it's an instance parameter and you just go OK so this is what we have and here for the formula for this one you just type in H times or asterisk open up parentheses 1 minus NCP so this is just a parameter that's going to help us get a value out of this then you go to new parameter and again instance parameter and this one will be just a for our Pythagora formula just to get the hypotenuse value so just get, type in PA and again instance parameter called PA so you just go small p capital A and you just go OK and for this formula you need to have a square root of open up parentheses again then open up parentheses if you can see that and now you type in H raised to the value of 2 to the power of 2 and this symbol you just get by hold shift and 6 on at least on my keyboard probably on yours too then you go minus open up parentheses this will be LH so this is the new parameter we have over here raised to the power of 2 again and then close parentheses close parentheses 
okay that's okay we're just getting values out of these parameters now we need a new parameter so you just go again new parameter this will be p a and let's just call it p a and c p for normalized curve parameter and make sure that it's an instance parameter and make sure that the discipline is number or type of parameter is number so you just go OK and for this one you need a formula of PA or sorry PH or no PA, PA yeah it's PA divided by A Okay, so once we have all of these formulas, you just go to apply and OK. And one more thing we need to do is we need to select this point over here, scroll down and here for the normalized curve parameter, just go here and attach it to PA underscore NCP and you just hit OK. And what this actually does to, to, to your model is now you, you can see we have this line over here. And this is the side of our triangle panel that will be moving around. And this, this is basically the hypotenuse, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, of uh, this here angle and or triangle. So these sides can change and this should always stay at the same length because you can change the side of a panel. So if this is at point for 44, if I go here to the type properties, or, or the family types and if I change this NCP the only parameter that we can change to 0.5 perhaps go apply OK and we select this line it will stay at 1.44 so you can see this this distance is smaller this distance is a larger and this here a line will stay the same and that's the whole point of all of these formulas okay so the next thing we need to do we need to place a, a point on this line over here so you just go place point and you make sure that you use this draw on face and you place it anywhere here so you just select this point and this point and you go to spline true points and you make sure that is reference is on okay so once we have this now we need to add some more parameters uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go here to family types so let's start off with the new parameters so I'm just going to go here to new parameter of course it will be an instance parameter so the first one will be HR and yeah just HR instance hit OK and here for the formula it will be a simple formula just a minus a minus H so this is the formula for that then we need a new parameter this will be a number or an NCP parameter so this will be just an HR underscore NCP and make sure that it's a number parameter and make it an instance parameter and you just leave it at that okay so we now need a new parameter a bunch of parameters here yeah I know so HR underscore base so this will be of course an instance parameter and this is a numerical or this is not a numerical this is a length parameter so you just hit here okay and then you find it over here and it has a bit of a lengthy formula so you just type in square root of uh, two parentheses and you type in here hr by the power of two closed parentheses minus open parentheses this will be pa by the power of two closed parentheses closed parentheses okay so we have this formula done and now we need a for this here HR NCP formula we need to change something or, or to add the formula so we're just going to type in here HR underscore base so that's this new parameter we have here okay that divided by HR okay so we have that and we're just going to hit okay and now for this point over here if I scroll down a bit here for the normalized curve parameter just go add and you just find your HR and CP so just HR and CP hit okay and there you go so here it is so now that's over here 
Okay, and once we have this, we just need to connect these two, oops, these two points. So you connect them with spline true points, make sure to hit is reference. And if we select now this whole triangle and you go create form and you choose this form over here, then we can just change this positive offset to something smaller. But I usually like to add a parameter even for this. So I'm just going to select it go new parameter, make sure that it's an instance parameter and let's just type in panel, let's call it panel thickness. Okay, hit okay, okay, and let's go here and change this panel thickness to, I don't know, 0 0.02 or 0 0.05, this is five millimeters. maybe even smaller, I don't know. Yeah, this seems a bit better. Okay, so once you have this, you have this one panel and let's just flex this for a second to see is it working properly. That's the most important part. So you just go here and let's change this to 0.75, go apply. Yeah, it flexes all the way up. Let's try 15 apply it goes down okay this whole thing is working so once we have this you're probably thinking oh it's a nightmare to do all of these but it's actually not that difficult you just go again from here to this point and you're just reusing some of the parameters so i'm just going to select these two for now and uh, uh, let's just go spline through points and make sure that it is an is reference so now we're just going to place a point on this here line, just hit the tab, yeah, place a point, make sure that it's here going towards the end, and here just for the normalized curve parameter, you go and you find, you just go here and find NCP, hit OK, yeah, that looks about right, and now you just connect these two points, you go spline through points, and make sure that it is a reference, and you select these two points, the upper one, where is it? There you go. Okay, so you just go spline through points, is reference, and you connect everything. So you can select these two, hold the control, select this one, go create form, make sure it's this form, and for the positive offset, give it a panel thickness, and there you go. And if I just now go into and change parameters, so if I go here, change this to 0.75 again, go apply, you can see this whole thing changed. So you just go around and you change everything. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Okay, and if we look at this now, it's it's finished, and let's view it from the top. Yeah, and if I go here to the properties, or the, the family types, sorry, and if I change this to 0.15 perhaps, and go apply, you can see this now extended. So, and if we go and change this back to maybe 0.8, go apply, it kind of retracted. Okay, so this is what we have. This is our family. Okay, so that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And tell me in the comment section below, have you tried making this? The, the, is it a cool family and a cool shape? And if you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, also leave them in the comment section below. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.